Um, Mazer or Swicket? Wait, what? <laughs> you don't even know. You guys, I'm trying to come up with this cool <laughs> BYU lingo. Mazer. They're buildings on BYU campus. Oh. <laughs> I should have just I randomly would, picked one. one. Oh, the tower, the bell tower? <laughs> no, not the bell oh. tower. <laughs> the Swicket, when, I, when you said that, I thought you meant like a broom or something. I was like, what? Oh, it's funny. That's awesome. Hey everyone, welcome to the Guiding You Forward podcast presented by Mountain America Credit Union, where we talk about all things financial related. And today's no exception because we have Shaylee Gonzalez with us. Hi, Shaylee. Hi, thanks for having me. Yes, we're going to talk about finances and basketball, of course, and other things too. But you guys, before we get into it, hit that notification bell, subscribe to our channel, stay to the end because we're going to get to know Shaylee in a way you guys don't even know her. Right? <laughs> right? In a way, Shaylee doesn't even know herself. <laughs> so let's just get into it, Shaylee. Okay, let's do it. Why on earth are you so passionate about basketball? Oh, man. Um, I honestly, I feel like I got it from my parents. Okay. They always had a really big passion and drive for basketball. And I started playing when I was five years old. And so they, you know, we're a huge basketball family. I have four younger siblings who all play basketball. They're my parents are head coaches for a club team, high school team. So we just love it. It's just in our blood. Okay. I was going to ask that because, you know, you have all of these cute little people that look like you <laughs> on TikTok that play basketball mm-hmm. and you all make all the threes. Like, what the heck? Yep. It's fun. Yep. All of us. I have two brothers and two sisters. Oh, my gosh. Um, that's fun. wonderful. And you're the, mm-hmm. you're the eldest of the I'm family. The oldest, yep. Okay, so no yep. pressure to like nope. be, you know, a great example to <laughs> the rest of the fam. Yeah. <laughs> That's Just way a cool. little pressure, but no. Yeah. I love them all. It's super fun. So fun. Mm-hmm. So you grew up in Arizona? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Born in Chandler, grew up in Gilbert, lived there my whole life t- till college. Uh-huh. So mm-hmm. how, what was it like coming from Arizona to Provo, Utah? Um. I mean, it was a huge change, especially the weather. Yeah. Because I'm not used to that. I was born, you know, been in Arizona, the heat, 120 degrees, and then come here and it's freezing and got to buy snow boots, jackets, and all that stuff. But, and college is, you know, a huge, huge change. So, yeah. um, But, you know, being part of a basketball team, I had, I already knew all the girls, the teammates. And so it was just a family. So I felt more comfortable. Yeah. Awesome. Um, So you already said who your main influences were growing up, right? Your parents? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Any other people that you're just like, oh my gosh, because of X, Y, Z, they're the reason I play basketball? Um, I mean, there's girls who, older girls who I've looked up to throughout my high school and college career, um, girls in the WNBA. um, I mean, just looking up to huge time athletes, um, women's sports, you know, it's a huge movement and um, just to be you know, an example for the younger girls too. You know, there's tons yeah. of little girls looking up to us, uh, Division One athletes, and um, I mean, it's super awesome to be able to, to be an example for them and to let them know that you you can get to your um, highest potential and to reach your dreams. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Um, what are your thoughts on female athletes in the future? Um, I mean, right now, I feel like there's still things we need to work on for sure. Um, I mean, I don't know a lot about it, but I mean, um, with like the WNBA and, you know, the pay pay range and it's different between NBA and WNBA players. And yeah. so um, there's a lot more things we need to change, even in college athletics. Like I've noticed that the men's team do get a lot more than the women's team. Um, that's what Title IX is for. And um, I think it's super important to talk about those things and to uh, get the word out. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. Um, I come from a long line of female athletes as well. Mm -hmm. And so um, just have to say like, thank you to being that great example to all of our our young girls and all Mm -hmm. those people out there. You guys are doing awesome. Um, When it came to choosing BYU to come play basketball for, Mm -hmm. what went into that choice? Why why did you end up being a Cougar? Yeah, um, I mean, there were, it wasn't just basketball. Um, It was also, you know, the environment, um, the fans, um, the team, the coaches, the schooling, um, a lot played into it. 
I didn't want to go to the East Coast far away from home. I wanted to be closer. Um, and I knew that I belonged here and this was home. That's awesome. I love mm-hmm. that. I love that. How does it feel being on a nationally ranked team? And does that put additional pressure on the team? Well, we're super excited to be nationally ranked. And um, I mean, we always say final four in our huddle. And, you know, that's our main goal is to get to the final four. And we know we can do it. Um, but yeah, we just feel super blessed and excited. And um, our coaches, they tell us that sometimes the rankings don't matter. And once we get into that NCAA tournament, it's going to matter. And whoever yeah. is going to fight the hardest, work the hardest, is going to come out with the win. Yeah. So um, there's there is a little bit of pressure. Um, but I feel like every time we go into the NCAA tournament, everyone overlooks us a bit. And so it makes us just want to work even harder and to win those games. Yeah. So you just came off of a crazy big win. Mm-hmm. Um, Gonzaga, right? You guys were down oh, yeah. 15 points mm-hmm. at half. Um, what happened in that game? <laughs> our, yeah. So our, the first half was a little bit rough for us. Um, we were down 15. Um, but then we came in the locker room. Our coaches, they hyped us up a bit. They told us that we need to come back. We need to work harder. Um, and then we just went out and we balled out. Um, Sarah had an amazing game. Paisley had an amazing game. She even got hit in the face. I don't know if you guys yes, heard about she that like or saw that. Had to get stitches, had to get stitches, right? stitches. She came in, had 22 points. Um, and it was just such a, it was such a fun game. It's always so fun going and playing against Gonzaga because the, the place gets packed. The energy, and it's just so fun playing there. So it was a super fun game and glad we got that win. Yeah, awesome job. Um, so speaking of Paisley, you guys both had killer games, Mm -hmm. like the two of you. Um, how does that feel to play with her? And then is she like more of a a mentor figure or maybe is there some rivalry there between you two? (laughs) (laughs) Um, so playing with Paisley is awesome. She, I mean, she's the hardest worker. She's a beast, obviously from those stitches and, and uh, Last year in our NCAA tournament game, she even broke her thumb, but she just put a cast on and she kept playing. So that she's so tough. Um, I love playing with her. Um, just the toughness she brings to our team is huge for us and the leadership. Um, I feel like we make each other better. We push each other and um, we're just both there to, you know, make our team better and to be the best we can be. I love that. Um, on your team, you can tell us your thoughts here. Who's, who's the one that makes you laugh the most? <laughs> makes me laugh? Yeah. I feel like everyone like has their own like humor and everyone's funny in their own way. I feel yeah. like there's so many girls on our team that are funny. I mean, Paisley's hilarious. Tegan's hilarious. Lauren's hilarious. Like, I feel like so many girls are that I can't really choose one. <laughs> the whole team's funny. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all like, just laughing all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. You we always make, have so much fun together. You got to make it fun, right? Yeah. So you're undefeated at home, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, we only lost two away games. Yeah. Yeah. Insane. Mm-hmm. So what do you attribute all the success to? Um, I feel like it's just our hard work we put in practice and in the off season. Um, and I also feel like we're so good because of our chemistry, um, not just on the floor, but off the court too. Um, we had those five or four seniors come back um, from that they had their COVID year. And so they all came back and just having them be there and their leadership has helped us so much in the team. And um, I mean, we're killing it 19 and two right now, and hopefully we'll be able to be able to kill it in the NC tournament too. Love it. Um so BYU made a, kind of a big announcement earlier this year in joining the Big 12. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on that? What are your teammates' thoughts on that? Mm-hmm. And yeah, just love to hear your insider yeah. thoughts. Um, I mean, when it came out, we were just so excited. I mean, that day, actually, we found out we had our whole, <laughs> all our gear come in. And so I just remember that whole day being like super exciting and um It'll be awesome for us to be able to play against those teams in that conference because they're so competitive. You know, Baylor, Iowa State, like those teams right there, they're in like the top 10 um, in the country. And so that will be my last year. So I'll have one year to be able to play in the Big 12. And so I feel like it's going to be awesome and to push BYU um, to be even better than we are now. Love that. Um, So what are your hopes 
And what does that ideal situation look like as you're heading into, you know, it's not your final season with BYU yet, Mm -hmm. but, you know, we've got a few years with you still. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? What does that look like? I mean, obviously winning a national championship could be there, (laughs) right? But Mm -hmm. what what do you think? What does success mean for you? Yeah, um, I mean... To me, I feel like success success is just being the best version of yourself you can be. Um, to always keep working harder to be um, better than you were the day before. Um, and I hope, I mean, every single year I'm here to win a WCC tournament, to go to the NCAA tournament, to make it farther every single year. Um, and to also get better, um, be a better player for my team and to um, gain more leadership as I go throughout the years. I love that. I love that. So speaking of leadership, um, kind of a fun new thing this year um, are NIL contracts, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're here today because of one, right? (laughs) We we won't beat around the bush. Um, What positive impact do you feel um, kind of the loosening of the sponsorship Mm -hmm. rules have had, not only for you individually, but just for college athletes as a whole? Yeah. Um, I feel like definitely I have you know, gained more knowledge and been able to have like a little bit more of a business mind, I feel like, because before it was just, I did social media for fun and posted things for fun. And now I'm being able to work with companies and brands and to be able to like expand in that way is pretty awesome and pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Cause I remember before I would always get DMs and emails from companies and I'd always would want to work with them so bad, but I would never be able to. And it's also nice to be able to make money off of the side too. Um, but yeah, it's super fun being able to have these like brand big brand deals and to work with these companies. And I never would have thought like I would be here today. So it's all hard work and I'm super blessed. So. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, what's been the main difference that you've seen um, with pre NIL agreements to now as far as your team environment? Is that any different or has it affected, you know, the way that um, you interact with with people in general or Mm -hmm. just your life in general? Um, I mean, there's not really any need to change or anything. I'm still Shaylee, you know, it's just, I, um, I feel like I'm a little bit more busier. My minds are on a little bit more other things. Um, it's kind of hard to balance everything being a student athlete. And so, um, it's nice to, um, be able to, you know, my dad, I call him my manager. (laughs) He helps me a ton with all that behind the scenes stuff and I'm super grateful for him. And, um, so he's able to help, um, me balance all that stuff out. But yeah, that's awesome. Do you feel like it's changed, um, the environment in the locker room at all? Um, being in this Mm -hmm. NIL agreement time, you know, are you guys Um, like comparing notes? Like, Oh, what sponsorship (laughs) did you get today? (laughs) No, I feel like, I feel like our team, we, we do talk about it and, um, not everyone on the team is into social media. And so yeah. um, different girls have different followings and are able to work with different brands. And, um, you know, we share those things. We have team deals. We do things together. Um, we just did this one with, um, I'm going to give people some shout outs, <laughs> um, but Zaya Sportswear, um, Lauren, she helped us do that team deal with everyone. So we get some, I'm actually wearing their leggings right now. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, this we is all like a get, commercial. I love it. <laughs> we all get like some um, workout clothes from them. Um, I did a brand deal with Thrift Hood. It's like a local thrift store. Um, and so hopefully in the future, we'll be able to work with them and do pregame fits with the whole team. Um, so we do share those things like that. And it's super fun and just like a hobby we like to do on the side. So. Yeah, yeah. So um, what are your thoughts as far as social media goes and how it's affecting, you know, college athletes and mm-hmm. their ability to get these deals? Yeah. Do you feel like, hey, that's the deal breaker? That's really the the puzzle piece, you know, for, mm-hmm. for maybe some of these athletes that are looking to get into more mm-hmm. NIL deals? What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, for sure. I feel like I have been able to connect with these brands because of the social media following I've been able to build up throughout the years. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, that was all through like TikTok and YouTube and, um, but I mean, it's super fun. I enjoy it. I have been able to take a step back a little bit more and to focus more on like the business side with the brand deals. Um, but I mean, like I said, you got to focus on what you're there for. I'm there for basketball and school. So those are my main focuses and trying to balance everything else around it. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we obviously can't come have you come on here and not talk about TikTok and YouTube, <laughs> right? I mean, right. you've got hundreds of thousands of followers on yeah. both of these channels. <laughs> you've obviously built your own brand there. Um, how did all this start for you? Um, that is a good question. Um, I mean, I've always loved having a camera in my hand. And I remember like family vacations. I always like take pictures, take videos. Um, and then my senior year of high school, we started making like game day vlogs with my teammates. Like it was just for fun. We just had my phone. We filmed it. We uploaded it um, and then came into college and I just kept it going. And then I posted my first video of me moving into my first dorm room and it blew up and then I started posting like athlete student athlete videos and then those blew up and people just loved seeing the behind the scenes of like that life and so I kept that up and then now I'm here and in Mountain America Credit Union doing a podcast you know? so <laughs> I never would have thought I would have been yeah. here and I didn't yeah. expect it I was just doing it just for fun because yeah. I loved it and so yeah it's been a crazy ride that's awesome I love that um so <clears throat> Your first TikTok that went viral was what? Um, it was with my teammates my sophomore year. So when I, I remember, cause I was wearing my knee brace. So that was the year I sat out, um, but we just did like a little dance. And then we had my um, teammate, Sarah Hampson, who's six, seven, she dunked it. And that video went viral and that's where it started. <laughs> that's so awesome. I love that. How, so, so cool. So um, those of us that are Shaylee fans, right, we get to see your family making all of these cool cameos and your mm -hmm. teammates mm -hmm. um, on, on, your, on your TikTok and obviously YouTube channel as well. You all seem very close. Mm -hmm. um, are they your support system through all of this? Like, oh, who, yeah. how do you, like, who do you lean on, right, mm -hmm. when Shaylee needs help? <laughs> yeah, for sure. My family, I always go to them. Um, I'm super close with my parents. Um, my brother, actually, he just left on a two-year LDS mission, which was really sad. He left today. So um, oh hopefully I'll be able to stay in contact with him yeah. every single week. Um, I was really close with him, so that was hard. Um, but yeah, my siblings, I'm super close with too. Um, my best friend I live with now, Lakin, she I've known her since fourth grade. So I always go to her too for support, and she's awesome. So Love that. Very, very cool. Um, so... Um, what kind of impact do you think TikTok specifically and YouTube both um, are having on college athletes and athletics? Do you feel like this is the next wave? Like this is what people need to be thinking of now? Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like if you're in a jersey, um, your TikTok video will go viral. <laughs> I feel like people <laughs> love uh, student yeah. athletes and um, it's super fun, um, you know, with my teammates, we, we all love to do it. Um, some girls are really into dancing, um, behind the scenes, brand deals, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like if you're a student athlete, it's really cool. It's a great opportunity to grow your brand right now where you're in such a, I mean, there are a lot of eyes on us right now and watching our games and things like that, that you can grow your brand, your brand now. And then, so once you're out of college that you have a business and you can run it yourself. So. Yeah, I love that. So with that being said, you've obviously shared that you've, you're have you more business minded because of this, right? Mm -hmm. Be because of the different brand deals you've been able to, to get. Um, what are your thoughts? Do you have advice for any athletes maybe that are still in high school? Like, is that when they need to start? Like, what, mm -hmm. what do you think would be your formula for success for some of these kids that are, that are thinking yeah. about this? Um, you're talking about like with social media? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd probably say start in high school. I feel like you can definitely, I mean, anything can go viral, right? And so I feel like whenever, like start young, like might as well and just work your way up. Um, I feel like asking other people and getting other people involved will help you. Okay, very, very cool. Um, so a few other questions for you. Obviously, you talked about being a student athlete, right? School and basketball are your two main focuses. Mm -hmm. um, what is the hardest part about balancing that schoolwork, basketball, and having a very successful social media mm -hmm. career too? Yeah. Um, I mean, during the season, I feel like that's when it gets the busiest. And so um, that's when you got to focus more on school and to get everything scheduled out. Um, the off season, I feel like I have more time to, you know, spend time with family, friends, um, relax, do more social media, things like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's super, 
super important to manage your time. Um, super important to stay, you know, healthy physically and mentally because it is hard mentally. But, you know, you just got to keep going and, um, you know, it, it'll all work out. So Yeah, yeah. So um, you mentioned mentally and I feel like that's mm-hmm. a big thing, right? Oh, yeah. I feel like that's mm-hmm. something that um, just as a society we're more aware of, we're more mm-hmm. willing to talk about it. Um, so when it comes to handling this stress, stress and pressure, and I imagine it's an overwhelming feeling mm-hmm. to be like, hey, I've got to go win this game, but also take this final and yeah. make sure I'm a good role model for my mm-hmm. little brothers and sisters, not to mention the hundreds of thousands of mm-hmm. other athletes watching me. Yeah. Um, how, do, how do you do that mentally? Like, <laughs> Shaylee, give, give us the details. Like, how do we manage this? Um, yeah, it's a lot. I mean... Like I said, I I don't know if I actually said this. Um, I have been taking a break from a little bit more from social media, not doing it as much. I feel like I did a lot more my freshman, sophomore, junior year. Um, my freshman year, I posted very frequently. My sophomore year, that's when I tore my ACL. That's when I told my story yeah. um, about you know the recovery, how it went mentally, where I was at. Um, and I was very open, very vulnerable about that. Um, and people just grasped grasped onto that I feel like when you're vulnerable and you let people know like who you really are they you know it gets people feel a connection and so I feel like um that's you know how I grew my following um but yeah I mean it's it's super hard being a student athlete first and so with that you know I've had to take a step back to you know relax you know I don't always need to like upload and post my life online like it's okay to not do it um but I kept doing it because I enjoyed it I loved it and it was fun um but I think I did get a little bit burnt out and so I feel like it's it's good to take a break from things like that yeah awesome um any hobbies that you love aside from obviously playing basketball and Mm -hmm. making videos like what what does Shaylee do (laughs) Um, I do love anything outdoors. I love like during the summer, like going on hikes. Um, I love going to the lake, wakeboarding, tubing. We do that a lot with my team because my coach has a boat. Um, and then with friends, I know a bunch of people with boats, so we'll go and do that. Um, I don't know. I love watching movies. Um, favorite movie. What's your favorite movie? Oh, favorite movie. I love Fast and Furious. Oh my goodness. (laughs) I love action movies. Okay. So, so Fast and the Furious, like the whole series or which one's yeah, your favorite? One series. through nine? Yeah. Uh-huh. Or Taken. Have you seen Taken? Yes. Oh. That's yeah. terrifying. <laughs> that is a terrifying movie. <laughs> it's so Oh my good, goodness. Though. Wait till you have kids. It gets even scarier. <laughs> um, so for you, what is the next, what are the, what are the next few years look like for mm-hmm. Shaylee? Yeah. So, I mean, my plan right now is to stay for two years and play at BYU. Um, And then after, I'd love to go play pro, whether it's to try out for the WNBA or um, to play pro in Europe or something like that. That's always been my dream ever since I was little. So to accomplish accomplish that would be pretty awesome. Um, And then who knows after that? (laughs) Love it. Love it. Um, So obviously, we're a credit union. You're here because of an (laughs) awesome NIL deal. But we would obviously be amiss if we didn't talk a little bit about finances, right? I mean, that's really our goal, right? (laughs) Is to talk about financial education and Uh really spread the word about financial education because we Mm -hmm. feel like, you know, it's a thing that maybe um, as a society, we haven't done an awesome job of teaching our young kids about it, Mm -hmm. right? So you mentioned, you know, as part of these NIL deals you're now managing and having this business mind, What piece of advice would you have for any kind of new college athletes leading into college, Mm -hmm. right? As they're starting their career, they're starting, you know, the the D1 or whatever. What did you say? D1 athletes. Yeah, D1 athletes, (laughs) Division One. They're the coolest. (laughs) What advice do you have for these um, athletes that are coming up as far as finances go? What are your thoughts? I mean, personally, like I don't know a whole lot about finances, but I mean, it's awesome to have parents who know so much about it and they're very business minded and my dad owns a bunch of businesses. So it's awesome to be able to go to him for help with things like that. Um, But yeah, I mean, just going to your parents, I mean, it's awesome that I have you guys. So I'm able to learn a lot more from you guys too. Um, And then, I mean, there's some classes like in college where you can take and learn more about that stuff too. Yeah, yeah. 
So um, you had a chance to meet with one of our financial guides, Mm -hmm. right? That's part of our um, partnership. Um, So you had to have, you got to have a conversation with Cass. Mm -hmm. Um, And I know you guys talked over the phone and Cass basically said, Shaylee's pretty like set. Like everything we (laughs) talked about, she pretty much already (laughs) knew. And so any thoughts as to what that conversation looked like with Cass and maybe what you would share from what you learned there? And I learned a lot from her. I told her that I just wanted to be a sponge. I wanted to hear what she had to say, learn from her. Um, We talked about, yeah, finances, credit. um, And I told her that my dad has been helping being, he's been able to help me through all that and finances and stuff like that. And so it's been cool to learn about that stuff as I've gone um, through and, you know, had to sign these contracts with these brands and um, be able to work with them. Yeah. Any advice that you would give to other people that you've learned? That you're like, hey, go do this right now. Um, I'd probably say to get a credit card, whether it's $500, um, anything like that, uh, to build your credit is super important. Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. We have trained you well, Cass. Good job. <laughs> and, you know, I just happen to have something right here, Shaylee, that we want all of our viewers to know about. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You guys can go into any Mountain America branch, <laughs> get your sparkly blue vertical cool BYU card. It's up. sick. I, it's, Everyone needs to go get one. Is that what people <laughs> say now? It's sick. I love it. Um, there's also like a white option that says BYU. That's pretty cool too. But anyways, <laughs> this one, cool. this one's that really one's pretty. Sick. So yeah, I love that you said that because mm-hmm. building credit, I remember actually when I was in college, I went to get my first line of credit, right? Mm-hmm. My first credit card. And... Um, I was like, oh, I'll just pay my tuition with, with credit and then pay it off, you know, be responsible about it. And I go in there and I'm like, yeah, I need, you know, like five grand so I can put my books and my rent and my everything on, on, the, on the card and I'll just pay it off. Mm-hmm. And the, the lady was so nice, but she's like, Crystalina, I'm sorry, but $500 is the maximum <laughs> we're going to give you. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. Mm-hmm that I was a high risk person because I had zero credit, right? Mm -hmm. So I love that piece of advice. Any other thoughts when it comes to saving or spending, or I know you get that stipend every Mm -hmm. month, right? As a college athlete that you would share for for young athletes thinking of of their financial future. Um, I think, yeah, I I just say save up. Um, I don't think you should go out and spend all your money with like what you're making right now and working with brands. I feel like it's super important to save up for the future. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, So speaking of brands, I, I think I've seen a few like posts on TikTok from you about some like big girl purchases you've Mm -hmm. made recently. (laughs) Um, So my question for you is Gucci or Louis Vuitton? Louis Vuitton. (laughs) Every time? (laughs) Yes. I have a couple of purses from Louis. I don't have anything Gucci. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I guess I don't know what's cool with the young kids anymore, but Louis Vuitton, okay, awesome. Louis Vuitton, yeah. um, Nike, always? Oh, yeah, Nike, okay. always. Okay, I love it. I am curious, actually, mm-hmm. what, Shaylee, would you prefer, Harry Potter or Star Wars? Star Wars. Really? Mm-hmm. Who's your favorite character? Um, I'd probably say Rey. Okay, why? The last movie. I just, I loved how tough she was in the movies, and I really liked her acting. Fair enough. Okay. I mean, mic drop. (laughs) I loved her acting too, and she was way tough. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's freaking a Jedi and didn't even know. Yep. Okay. Very cool. Um, When it comes to your favorite athlete in the WNBA, let's say who you look up to the most, Mm -hmm. um, and maybe it's a college athlete too, um, who would that be? Um, For the WNBA, I've always loved Kelsey Plum's game. Um, she plays, she plays for the Las Vegas Aces. She played at Washington, um, in college and she's a point guard and I really like watching her and her game. Um, I also like watching Sue Bird and Diana Taurasi. They're both super aggressive players. So I'd probably say those three. Awesome. Love it. Um, and any final thoughts that you would share with people, um, when it comes to being a student athlete? and just getting ready for that that phase of your life yeah um i just say enjoy it you know you're only in college for what four years i got lucky with covid year and i mean not lucky with my acl but you know i still have six years to play basketball Um, but just enjoy it because it'll go quick and um, to have fun and to just live in the moment and to work hard 
Love it. So speaking of working hard, what what does work look like for you right now? Like how mm-hmm. how much time have you actually had that basketball in your hands? Yeah. It's a lot of dedication, a huge passion of mine. Um, and I've always, you know, I feel, like I said at the beginning, like basketball is like a piece of me. It's in our blood. Um, and I just enjoy it. And being able to go to BYU and play with the teammates I play with now um, it's just so fun and to be able to grow with them and to learn and um, it's just been a great experience and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else doing anything else. I love it. Kay Shaley, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yes, it's been fun talking all things BYU basketball mm-hmm. and a little bit of financial education. Yep. <laughs> um, and thanks to all of you for joining us as well. Be sure to hit that notification bell, subscribe to our channel so you can get more awesome content. And we will see you on the next episode of Guiding You Forward.